You see, it's just where, where yeah, it's there it is. So now everything's fine because now we're on the air. Now we not on the air, but no. we're recording, <laughs> and I will up upload it, upload it later. This is the camera. I'll smile I'll to the camera. I'm on your ear. <laughs> That's okay. <coughs> okay, we start again. <coughs> um, before we <coughs> go further with my <coughs> pictures, <coughs> just a couple of words for those of you who don't care about football, but who cares about theater or um, opera or uh, whatever. <coughs> Almost everything I have said so far could be, could be related to <coughs> theater, concerts, uh, um, other events. Oh, objections in the neighbor room? <laughs> No, <coughs> there's <coughs> a demand curve for theater tickets as well as for football tickets. If <coughs> you are supposed to be <coughs> taking care of your kids this evening when the theater is on, uh-uh. You don't buy the ticket because you won't quarrel with your wife <coughs> or husband. <coughs> you do <coughs> what you are told. If <coughs> the theater is starting <coughs> four o'clock <coughs> in the afternoon, it's too early. If it's on Sunday, <coughs> you have other things you do on Sunday <coughs> and so on. If the actors are not performing, the most lousy <coughs> performance in the last <coughs> show, you consider not to go. <coughs> and it's just the same, <coughs> just the same objects. But here we are pinpointing them to football. And we ended up uh, with this <coughs> picture. 1800 is definitely the best time on Sundays. <coughs> Another one from the same <coughs> sponsor insight it should have been here. <coughs> the same questionnaire <coughs> from sponsor insight. Family obligation <coughs> and match time is most important reasons for attending or not. Twenty six percent say <coughs> family obligation <coughs> was the main reason why they didn't attend a match they could have seen or should have seen in their minds. Match time, another 23%. <coughs> it could be the same people. It doesn't add to 100. The number two <coughs> is match time. The weather. <coughs> too lousy weather. Th that mattered more before. Cormier, um, if you were going to visit the match in Cormier and also the weather match mattered, I can <laughs> assure you. <coughs> the guest team. <coughs> I'm a little bit supposed of the high percentage of that. <coughs> I'll show you a little bit later <coughs> argument why I'm a little bit supposed of that. The atmosphere at stadium. It's good to be there. <coughs> we like it. <coughs> Feel like a molder man <coughs> or woman. Company. <coughs> I always go there with my neighbor. <coughs> That's our <odd> time. <coughs> or I go there with my son or my father or my wife or whatever. <coughs> Expected performance of home team. <coughs> I expected this to be bigger. <coughs> On fitness. Well, <coughs> this is I have a hangover today, so <laughs> skip the match. <coughs> Facilities at stadium. I uh, know they are very small numbers. <coughs> and imagine, <coughs> no, remarks especially <coughs> ticket price. 5%. 5%? Not more. Interesting. It's an interesting low. 
Number. <coughs> and entertainment from halftime. They don't watch, <coughs> they don't come to the stadium to see dogs jumping through <coughs> tires <coughs> in halftime or to see <coughs> orchestras. <coughs> no, or no, there's a lot of lousy, idiotic things done on halftime, in my opinion. So I share. I share that <coughs> there are prefer preferences. Attend anyway. <coughs> Forty-seven percent. I give a damn in family obligation, weather or <laughs> whatever it is. I just go there. <coughs> that means <coughs> the curve is wow. Independent of price. <coughs> Interesting. <coughs> Start of season, typically gone. Normally, <coughs> if that's if there's anything normal, <coughs> it started end of March or beginning of April. And two thousand and nine. Wow. <coughs> In the skiing season, 14th of March. Ski jumping in Holmenkollen, <coughs> same day as the Pilegan started. Snow on the stadiums. <coughs> Next year, 13th, 18th, 23rd. And now, <coughs> this year, back to where we were end of March. It certainly took some <coughs> spectators because they didn't go to the first match. <coughs> if they had been there on the first match and said, ah, ah, I want to come again. <coughs> but oh, no, I didn't see the first match. I don't think I'd go. No, yeah. <coughs> you lose something in the start. <coughs> We saw the numbers of uh, spectators from the first round very low here. Yeah. Better this year, 2014. This is interesting. <coughs> They're all interesting, of course, but <coughs> I wouldn't show them either. <coughs> I wouldn't show them if they were not interesting. But this one in my mind is especially <coughs> interesting. Average number of spectators away. When, <coughs> let's uh, just take <coughs> one. Let's take the uh, upper one, Rosenberg. When they <coughs> played away, <coughs> that means every other stadium than Lerkendal, when they were <coughs> out 15 matches they played away. 15 at home and 15 <coughs> away. The average number of spectators who saw Rosenberg away was 7,282. 798988. <coughs> Let's <coughs> take another one. Let's take uh, Sofsburg. 7,272. Oh, and 74. Eight less than Rosenberg. And Sofsburg <coughs> in 2013 <coughs> wasn't a medalist or an expected medalist. They just <coughs> avoided relegation with that much. <coughs> they were in the bottom of the table. But they had almost as many spectators on average away as Rosenberg had. And you see other ones, <coughs> Songdal, 7,108. They were like Sapsburg down there. Almost the same. And more 
and more than Viking, more than Wallerenga, more than Molda. <coughs> huh? Isn't that a little bit surprising? In my mind it is, <coughs> but it, it has something to tell us. I'll skip this one and go to the next. Because <coughs> here I'm <coughs> made them relative. Because 100 is average. 100 is average. <coughs> so more than 100 is more than average <coughs> of spectators that weigh. Less than 100 is less than average spectators that weigh. You see, Rosenberg had <coughs> 107 percent, a little bit more than average. Sarsberg had 107 percent. Ott had 91 percent. That was the l the lowest one, <coughs> and they are from one from 91 to 107 very <coughs> close to each other. They are close to average, all of them. 2010, <coughs> same pattern. There it was uh, Wollerenga, the biggest one, 114. You see, <coughs> yeah, if you follow Rosenberg <coughs> from 10 to 13, they are all, all the numbers are <coughs> more or almost 10% over <coughs> the average. If you follow one of the others, <coughs> yeah, Wollerenga as well, Klanen is traveling around. <coughs> Wollerenga Klanen is traveling around. And <coughs> Rosenberg have some, they have some fans. <coughs> It's hard to believe for a Molder man, but <coughs> they have, they have <coughs> fans all over Norway. It comes from the period where they were in Champions League year after year. They were the, the Norwegian team in Champions League. They were our team in a way, <coughs> wherever we lived. And that <coughs> there's a remaining of that, <coughs> but it seems to be declining. <coughs> But <coughs> the interesting thing from this is there is no significant evidence for <coughs> this assumption. Or the assumption is the best teams attract the greatest number of spectators on average in any away match. That's a <coughs> That's what we <coughs> would expect to find. Go back to the discussion of <coughs> dimension of Tippeligan. So no, people won't <coughs> see Waller, uh, won't see Salzburg and uh, Songdal. And, uh, <coughs> that's what they are saying in the newspapers. <coughs> Get rid of them. <coughs> we want to see <coughs> the big ones, the good ones. <coughs> that's the argument to go down to 12. <coughs> teams get rid of some of these small ones, bad ones, or low-ranked ones. <coughs> but <coughs> except for Rosenberg and perhaps uh, Rosenberg and Wallerenga, there was a <coughs> perhaps a significant <coughs> plus to average. It doesn't mean anything. <coughs> They come to see the home team, not the away team. That must, <coughs> that must be the conclusion. It seems not to matter which the visiting team is. <coughs> I go there on Stadion now on tomorrow <coughs> to watch Molda. Who are they playing? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. 
I would have gone there if they were playing further. <coughs> if they were anti playground. <laughs> yeah? Doesn't matter. <coughs> or trainer. Elna Smogen. <coughs> and that's how <coughs> the spectators act throughout Norway. They want them to see the home team. And as we saw earlier, they will see the home team in good performance. Whoever they play against, <coughs> doesn't matter. Cup final, <coughs> whether we play Sarpsborg or Odd in the cup final, doesn't matter, we win anyway. Don't we? Just one to, <coughs> to show that people are secure on matches in the playground. Sponsor insights. <coughs> Seven is top rank. I don't know why they changed, but they did. <coughs> Seven is top rank. <coughs> Sun is it? <laughs> I don't know why. <coughs> Could have something with the stadiums. It's <coughs> I haven't been there. The only one I haven't attended is Sonnesus <laughs> Stadium. <coughs> but we are, <coughs> we are not afraid to go there. We are not afraid to bring our kids <coughs> to the stadium. So, <coughs> forget this. <coughs> An interesting one. <coughs> I think <coughs> if we are to explain the growth <coughs> in the attendance from <coughs> 96, 97 up to <coughs> 2008, this is the most important one. I'm convinced of that. And I know that uh, Kjetil uh <coughs> and Holger and Ariel Avec, <coughs> they have <coughs> uh, made uh, some investigation on the team, and they have found the same, more scientifically, uh, <coughs> in a scientific uh, method. They have showed <coughs> that these are the most important argument for the growth in this period. And what? 1998, the 18th of April, we opened <coughs> Molde Stadium with a 4-0 win against Lillestrøm. You were there? No, you weren't born. <coughs> oh, it's just 16 years ago. <coughs> but you weren't there. <coughs> and Brand Stadium <coughs> has been uh, developed in <coughs> different stages. The first stage <coughs> of Brand Stadium, 98, same with uh, Lerkendal Tournament, <coughs> first in 99, completed more or less in 2002. Or Rosen <coughs> expanded new stadium, 2002. Viking Stadium, <coughs> marvelous stadium, <coughs> Götavågen, <coughs> Stavanger, then 14,000 spectators in capacity. <coughs> Open <coughs> 2004. Copperline Stadium. 2005. <coughs> Orosen uh, completed. 2005. 2006. Gagrak Arena in Chien. Bram Stadium completed. Foss Haugan expanded. <coughs> As a, I, I was the president in the period from 2004 to 2009. <coughs> And I, <coughs> I was at all these openings. <coughs> it was, <coughs> it was, oh, the, it's hard to find words. <coughs> it was a wonderful experience <coughs> to be there, 
to see the full new stadiums. <coughs> Color line stadium. <coughs> it was more. <coughs> I know it because <coughs> I got the ticket. <coughs> I made a speech down on the pitch <coughs> and then rushed up to <coughs> see the mass. They were playing odds. <coughs> <coughs> and I showed a ticket, <coughs> so number row eight, number sixteen. I don't. Know, that's not uh, <laughs> correct, but it could have been that. <coughs> and I came to <coughs> the man who showed where to sit. So it it doesn't exist <laughs> because there was a door there. <laughs> So they had sold one more ticket than ex existed. <coughs> I had, oh, I got another one, so it worked. <coughs> but just an illustration of <coughs> how s how sold out it was. So Christiansen, completeness of Brand Stadion, a wonderful stadium in Frederikstad, <coughs> Telenor Arena, wonderful stadium as well <coughs> inside. I was there <coughs> with uh, Michel Platini from UEFA, and he had eyes like this, <coughs> and his saw was, was built on Telenor Arena with the artificial grass on, and 10,000 uh, <coughs> capacity of 10,000 spectators. It was the first in Europe. He said, "You are <coughs> in lead in Europe." I told him that that would be <coughs> how we did it, you know, <laughs> in the future. <coughs> that was wrong. Three years, four years later, it was away. <coughs> but Aka <coughs> Hernefoss, <coughs> millions of millions of millions <coughs> of money used to. <coughs> get stadiums with facilities really, really created for a <coughs> great <coughs> experience as a football supporter. 2013, Hugesen <coughs> in Salzburg. What happened with the spectators, <coughs> with the number of spectators in these stadiums? Here are some examples. And it's compared to previous season. Molde, <coughs> when the stadium was it was open for the first match, 18th of April, <coughs> in 98. Compared to the 97 season at Old Stadium, back in city, <coughs> the back of city, it doubled. It doubled. Olesund. 125% growth. Viking, 50% increase. <coughs> they had a great stadium, Vik uh, old Stavanger stadium. But that was a 50% increase. Fredrikstad, old Lose stadium, <coughs> stadium, and a wonderful new one, doubled. Start. Christian San, 50% increase. Stabek from Nadru outside to <coughs> Telenor Arena inside, 60% increase. Of course, the average number of spectators had to increase when all this happened. <coughs> this is from, from 98 to 2009, 11 years. But <coughs> if you're right, you could say <coughs> there should be no reason to go down again then. The stadiums are there, as they were built and open. <coughs> oh yes. <coughs> but <coughs> it isn't that easy. <coughs> There's a novelty, interest. At the opening of Colorline Stadion, I spoke to 
the managing, managing director of Equinus Furniture, <coughs> the former one. <coughs> oh, you here? <coughs> no, I couldn't. <laughs> I've spoken to the ring, but <coughs> I won't. <coughs> yes, I haven't been on a football match since 1954, <laughs> but not to go. And he brought his family. They had never been to the stadium. And just, uh, just an example. The newspapers <coughs> were full months ahead of the opening. They were full of <coughs> stuff about <coughs> these new stadiums. Oh, it looks so wonderful. And people were curious. <coughs> how, how is it there? I will be part of this. It's a fiesta. <coughs> I will be one. I will be one of them. <coughs> and they came. And they were part of the opening show and the, the first matches. And <coughs> they came again on the second match. <coughs> Lost some hundreds. They just were there to see how it was. They were not watching football. Third match, fourth match. <coughs> A little bit lost and away. <coughs> and <I'm laughs> the theory, <coughs> or the, the, the research on this, says that this novelty effect on the attendance, it <coughs> disappears after five to six years. Then we have to use other arguments to get them there. And if you remember the curve we showed, <coughs> 2008 on the top plus five years and you get 2013. <laughs> so <coughs> this explain to a, to a high degree it explains <coughs> the grout and to some degree it also explains the decline of the figures. The competitive balance. <coughs> what is it? This is research from Åkon <coughs> Torbygge, who was a former student here. <coughs> Perhaps he's a student uh, now. Yeah. I have a question about in the slide. Previous um, one. Yeah. The slot in Norway is here for the stadium director or for the city manager. It um, yeah. The new stadium, do the clubs pay for that yeah. or do the cities pay for the stadium? Take, them, take it back. <coughs> Molde Stadium, the <coughs> municipality of Molde, they gave the land <coughs> for it. <coughs> Doesn't work? No. I'm working. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Close the door. <coughs> uh, the community and the municipality of uh, Molde, they gave the land. <coughs> and <coughs> the club or could be heard as Gjeldstein and especially Mr. Kjell Inge Røkke, he raised the money. Some of it was borrowed, but <coughs> private, <coughs> private money. From stadium, uh, private money, no municipality <coughs> at all. Lerkendal, just the same. <coughs> uh, it was a, a community-owned stadium at that time. But <coughs> the club paid for it. Uh, Viking, just the same, private money. Color line, Sinda and uh, other ones, private money. Same here, in the uh, Sheen, uh, the municipality gave the land, as in Molde. <coughs> and the same in uh, 
in uh, Kristiansand. So it pri private, private, ninety-eight <coughs> percent private. <coughs> that much municipality, and it comes to the ground or the land for the stadiums, nothing else. Competitive balance. Who can build it up? <coughs> Former students <coughs> under su supervision of Kjetil. He made a research. <coughs> And he found the competitive balance <coughs> in a in a figure. <coughs> just just read it as competitive balance. <coughs> it's 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 a calculation behind it, but it would go too much time to try to <coughs> get into that. I, I'll just tell you how it works. <coughs> it's zero. <coughs> it follows, yeah. <coughs> If the league is like this, if the league is like this, the f best team beat everyone under. The second best team, the lose for the team who is the best, uh, beat everyone under them. And the third best team, lose for the two best and beat everyone under. You see how it works then? <coughs> if that's the, <coughs> if it's like this, the competitive balance is zero. <laughs> There's no use to go in the match. Okay, they are ahead of us. <coughs> they, they, we lose for them. They are below us. Oh yes, we win there. <laughs> There's no competitive balance, and it's zero. The more person the result is, the bigger is this. Think the most <coughs> uncertain you can think of is that every match ends in a draw. All matches end in draws. Nobody wins. <laughs> then we will have a hundred. <laughs> That's the utter. <coughs> and we see what <coughs> there was an increase in the competitive balance. <coughs> Significant increase from 2001 and up to <coughs> 2005. Why? And even 2006 and 7 uh, and 8 and 9 are rather high figures. This is a quite competitive league with these figures. If we had <coughs> made a comparing uh, <coughs> illustration from, let's see, the Scottish League, there, the Danish League, <coughs> yeah. It's, it's hard to say <coughs> because I have to have <coughs> go further down in it, but that means <coughs> that in these this period, <coughs> there were some, some unexpected results. It wasn't easy to forecast what would happen. And new clubs come up. <coughs> 2004. Oh. I, I remember <coughs> this was my first uh, gold medalist <coughs> over handing. I, I handed over the gold medal to the winner of the league. And before the last match, <coughs> the last round, I wonder, should I stay at Ullevål, where Wallerenga was staying, or should I go to Trondheim, <laughs> Lekendal, where Rosenborg was staying? I don't remember who they played, but <coughs> they had a home match, both of them. They had the same number of points and the same, <coughs> almost the same average of the uh, goals <coughs> before the last match. I went to Trondheim with the medals. And <coughs> when the match 
in front M was over. Rosenberg was the winner of the gold medals. But Wollerenger, <coughs> they are smartness from uh, <coughs> the coach Kette Rechtal. He took a great break. <laughs> the referee had to get him out. <coughs> so he played five minutes longer than, and he knew the result in front of <laughs> If they had scored one goal in these extra five minutes, the gold medals would have gone to Wollerenger. They had the same number of points. They had a difference in goals uh, on 18, each of them, plus 18, plus 18, same number. <laughs> but uh, Rosenberg has scored some more goals. <coughs> and they had a, a wonderful possibility in Oslo to <coughs> set a goal. Morten Berger <coughs> was through, open, goal. <laughs> he could just, like this, man, didn't like this. And I stood there <coughs> in the at Lerkinda Stadium with the players watching <coughs> the TV. Whoa! <laughs> That's competitive balance. <laughs> That's close. <coughs> and then in 2005, <coughs> we had Wollerenga to win. Very close to start, Christiansand. Ooh, like this. 2006, Rosenborg came again. 2007, <coughs> Brann, Bergen. For the first time in 43 years, they won the league. <laughs> they almost ruined the city in the <coughs> celebration. <laughs> and then 2008, <coughs> Starbeck at the old stadium at Nattere. <coughs> it changed. Remember the era of Rosenberg? Rosenberg, Rosenberg, Rosenberg. <coughs> Boring if you're not a Rosenberg fan. <coughs> but now it happened. <coughs> New clubs came up and won. And that's what's shown here. And that matters. If you go <coughs> back and remember the growth, I said the stadiums <coughs> was the main reason for the growth. I think the second best reason is this one. It opened, the league opened up new possible winners and even new winners. You have to. <coughs> Ticket prices, season tickets. These figures are not 100% <coughs> correct, but they are close. I have got <coughs> information from different clubs and uh, made a calculation of the average. Uh, season tickets, <coughs> it means for 15 matches in common. <coughs> 3,600 until the half. Average 27, that means pro match 180 Norwegian crowns. Children, <coughs> average of 100. It, it differs from the double price. <coughs> ah, more than uh, five times, yeah. Family, three times <coughs> from 14. The family is two plus two. And <coughs> pro ticket, 150. You're welcome. <coughs> Here are ticket prices. This is an example from a specific match. <coughs> one club, one match. <coughs> Just to show the structure. All three tickets. <coughs> 992. That's not the year. That's the number of tickets. <coughs> And average price, 165. <laughs> that goes for <coughs> children and uh, adults. <coughs> it's an average. 323 free tickets. 
ticket, ordinary ticket for that match. 5,900 season tickets bought and paid for. 142 crowns each on average. Not the same price for all of them, but <coughs> in average. And perhaps surprisingly for some of you, season tickets 1,051 free. Honorable tickets. That goes for honorable members, for <coughs> volunteers of different kinds, <coughs> members of the youth, or so on. This is not the specific <coughs> match, but this is an average for the Tip Liga clubs. Match day income. Average paid price, 153 Norwegian Kona. That's for single tickets. <coughs> but from that, <coughs> you have to reduce 15% free tickets, honorable tickets, to find the match day income per spectator. Then we have to make this calculation. Net paid 130 per, per <coughs> spectator inside the stadium. And other income, approximately 40% you can add to the Norwegian grounds from spectators, from tickets, not from spectators, but from tickets. The ticket price plus 40% gives the match day income 182 crowns. This is <coughs> money from uh, <coughs> sale of ice cream, ice cream coffee, <coughs> beer, oh. hospitality. They sell wine and beer <coughs> in the inner circles. And if you just step back um, a minute to <coughs> the new stadiums. In 2000, and yeah, I, I think I have it on the next, perhaps, no. I, I come back to it, but just mention it. There was an enormous increase in this part of the match day income when a new stadium came. And it's not surprising, <coughs> because then they got the <coughs> facilities to offer what spectators would pay for. But no, <coughs> last season, approximately 40%. It was even higher. It was up in 60% in 2004 or five or one of these years. It's been a little bit declining. <coughs> Sixty-two <coughs> percent of the people <coughs> who I was referring to <coughs> in the inquiry from sponsor inside are saying, "I don't give a damn <coughs> in disgust of whatever <coughs> shirt or flag or whatever I get when I buy a season ticket. I buy it anyway. I want a season ticket. That's it." <coughs> And 25% says they could consider buying se <coughs> season ticket if they get discount of one, two, three, four or so matches. <coughs> if you add them, 87% <coughs> say they would buy a ticket, season ticket. And why do they want to buy a season ticket? same seat in every match. I know where I sit. <coughs> I don't have to <coughs> meet new neighbors. I know who the fool behind me is. and uh <coughs> I like it there. 
ticket buying is done. I don't have to bother with that. <coughs> I have it. It's in my wallet all the time. Priority for cup final ticket. <coughs> That's important in Molde. <coughs> Visit in Ullevål every year. <coughs> It's cheaper per match. Yeah. <coughs> Sit together with the same persons. <coughs> Close to this one. <coughs> I bring my neighbor, or I bring my father, or I bring my son. <coughs> every match. Buy season tickets anyway. <coughs> Tell me what. I buy it. And then some other arguments but it doesn't matter <coughs> I just finished uh, I know we are just over time now I just finished <coughs> the price discussion and then after <coughs> the break we go to the possible developments of Tipe Liga season tickets <coughs> this was this year <coughs> The figures are not 100%, but they are more than 90% secure. <coughs> I have taken them, <coughs> I've taken them from uh, different sources. <coughs> but the stadium capacity is all right. <coughs> they are exact. <coughs> Season ticket in percentage of average number of spectators. You see quite high numbers. 64 altogether. Two of three <coughs> attendants on a match have a season ticket in average. In <coughs> Molde and Olesund, more than 80%, more than four of five have a season ticket. And <coughs> the lowest you find is here, Buda Glimt. <coughs> close to one or two. <coughs> but these high figures. <coughs> if you see season tickets in pro percentage of capacity, Rosenberg, <coughs> they could have tripled <coughs> for a full stadium. <coughs> one could have doubled, almost the same with Reeking. Wolleringa could have sold four times. Yes, they have Willowall Stadium with 21,000. <coughs> but <coughs> Molde and Ålesund, <coughs> especially Molde, 66% of <coughs> the capacity is sold by season tickets. 57, that's high figures. <coughs> yeah. All together. 40%, <coughs> 4 of 10 potential seats are sold by season ticket. These are high figures, all of them. All of them. Use of capacity, <coughs> number of spectators, <coughs> that regardless of season tickets, ho how many more spectators could we get in? <coughs> if you fill every match, <coughs> That's 38% to go on. And it's <coughs> worse than <coughs> Molde, and now it's even worse than uh, Strømstrutse. This is this year. <coughs> Just 12% to go on. <coughs> Almost full houses <coughs> over and over again in Brammen. And in Topsoy, with a very lousy <coughs> capacity because of security. But altogether, 62% are used. Also, that is high figures. <coughs> Attendance, yeah, here you have it. <coughs> we could have had 11,272 as an average. Remember that? highest number we had in 2008, 10,514 I think it was, just 700 more than the capacity today.
but we are just below 7. Average mass day income. <coughs> it was in 2007 it <coughs> took off. This is not <coughs> just the growth of spectators. There was a growth of spectators from <coughs> 2006 to 2007, as you remember. But in addition to that, <coughs> there was a growth in the extra sales <coughs> made to the spectators in the stadium. And then <coughs> you see the decline. <coughs> this is per club. It's an average per match. No, 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 per match, sorry, per club. <coughs> Should have been per match, then when all the problems are gone <laughs> like this. <coughs> 10 million lost pro per club from the match day income. 10 million. <coughs> no, I think <coughs> I think we take, uh, have a break there and then discuss <coughs> the price, the, the, <coughs> the slope of the price curve <coughs> after the break. And when we have ended this discussion, I will see what happens if we change the format of Tipperliga. We've had 15 minutes or 12, 12 or so. <coughs>